today we will be featuring the Bosch Top Precision Circular Saw Blade for the 18VLI or the 18V57G cordless uh, circular saws from Bosch. It says here it's precise, silent, extra clean cut, extra long length. So we will be uh, comparing the quality of the cuts of the three blades, the speed line for wood and the standard for wood versus the top precision best for wood and it's got the Bosch Microtech and uh, Clean Tech and the Stability Tech which is the uh, silent feature of the blade so here inside is the user manual and the blade itself these three will be compared today first we'll be using the speed line for wood which has 12 teeth and the Bosch standard for wood which has 36 teeth and the Bosch top precision best for wood it's so shiny that the marks are not clear it's got 48 teeth where is that there there that's 48 and it's made in Italy see those uh, curved grooves this actually reduces the uh, noise of the blade during cutting and let's try to compare the sound of each blade when being hit by an object If you can compute the time when I beat the blade and when it stops ringing, that's how long it uh, resonates. Next is the standard for wood. Still it has the uh, resonant ring and it's done. So again this is pine wood and we're using the Bosch Top Precision Best for Wood. Bosch standard for wood 36 teeth take note of the noise so this was the top precision and this 
that third. And 30, 36D. So, this is the top position, standard for wood. Standard for wood, 36D. Bosch speed line for wood, 12D. way so this is the right hand side of the speed line for wood this is the left hand side of the speed line for wood and this is the left hand side of the standard for wood this is the right hand side of the standard for wood left-hand side of the top precision and this is the right-hand side of the top precision see and to compare the three Let's zoom it in. So that is the comparison of the three blades. The top is the top precision 48 teeth. The middle is the standard for wood 36 teeth. And the bottom is the speed line for wood. 12 teeth you be the judge uh, the method of I mean the speed of cutting that I was performing is my um, standard way of cutting so I tried my best to make the cut as slow and as precise as possible to minimize splinters and let's see the top part of the cut top side of the cuts I will show you the top side of the cuts. So this goes here. So this goes here. And this goes here. And the last. This goes here. So I'll give you twenty seconds <laughs> to judge the cuts. So the middle of the the mid middle of these two pieces is cut by the top precision. This is cut by, by the standard for wood see the splinters here because this is uh, the grains here are harder so the splinters here are bigger and this is the speed line for wood all the blades are new 
and don't mind the um, corrosion on the blade because it was stuck for long but don't worry the blades are new you can see that the marks are and let's see the underside of the cut okay come on so let's flip it flip this thing up and clamp it again and make sure I focus it properly okay now we're seeing the bottom of the cut so this is SP120 that is speed line for wood and where's the speed line for wood okay so this goes here no cheating there the grain of the wood is uh, consistent standard for wood 3060t and the top precision okay let's just see everything it's within the frame okay so this is cut by the top precision the initial cut this oh I think this is the end part of the cut top precision end part and uh, standard for wood and cut mm, speed line for wood and cut okay I think that's it speed line standard top precision 